Okay, so here we go, guys. Another thing, I'm, another thing I'm going to show you from Resident Evil 5 are the DLCs that came out, like, what, a year later after the release of Resident Evil 5? And one of them is my favorite. So we're going to do my favorite DLC from this game. We're going to go to Extra Content. And it's called Lost in Nightmares. Chris lost his partner, Jill, on a, a top secret mission for uh, some years back. Find out what happened on that mission. So it's this one, Lost in Nightmares. And we're also playing this game. Well, not on the day of Resident Evil 5's anniversary. We're playing it on the month of its anniversary when it was released. It was This game was released back on PlayStation 3 March 13th. It was released early in Japan uh, back in March 5th, I believe. Yeah. So... It's already like what? Today is like March twenty first. So we're 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 playing this late, but we're still gonna celebrate it in honor of Resident Evil Five. So did you guys play this? Anybody here in chat played this one? This one I was excited to play. It was like something different. This was not released along with the Resident Evil 5 game. This this these two DLCs were not released until like later. But I'm pretty sure they had plans because when you play the main game, there was a there was a part towards the end that made you think what was happening during that time with this certain character. And that and they have that level in, as part of the, one of the DLCs. That does explain like what was happening while Chris and Sheva were doing their thing while this other character was doing this. Okay. You never knew there were there was DLCs? Oh, really, SK? I didn't either until, like, when was it? I think I was walking around... Oh, my God, imagine Sears back when it was open. I was walking around the store Sears at the mall. And all of a sudden, I saw the cover of Resident Evil 5, the gold edition. And I'm like, gold edition? It's a different cover. And I look at the back, and it says extra content, like... New DLCs, two of them, Lost in Nightmares, and I think the other one, I forgot what the other one's called. Oh, actually, let's go back really quick. It's called Desperate Escape. There you go. And then it had new costumes and everything. I was like, damn. So my aunt bought it for me. And yeah, it's basically like you're buying the game along with the the DLC. So I was like, oh, damn. So I should I could have just bought the DLC separate, but oh, well. I got the gold edition. Davis, could you type your account? Who? Davis? Oh! I believe Diego did it for me. By the way, Diego, if you're going to go to sleep, buddy, thank you once again for playing with me uh, on Resident Evil 5. I hope you had a good time, and if you're down to play some more in the future, uh, maybe we could play it again the next time I stream. I'm down for that. And um, if not, no worries. Because <laughs> I understand if it's not your type of game, I totally get it. But still, thank you very much for that. And here you go. Hope that. So, also, guys, my anniversary of streaming live on my Twitch is coming soon on July 15th. Diego was able to help me uh, point that out for me. So, we're going to do something special. Anyway, let's get started. Hmm. Let's make it interesting. Should I play as Jill? I should. It was fun, Diego. That's good. Oh. Received intel as to the whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. Jill and I were ordered by the BSAA's European headquarters to apprehend him. We accepted that mission in the hopes of uncovering some info that would lead us to Wesker. Oh, Jill, the master of unlocking. July fifteenth. Yes, is the day of my anniversary with Twitch. Eight days after your birthday. Really, Diego? Oh, nice. 
secure the target. Roger that. What can you tell us about the area? The satellite scan isn't showing anything out of the ordinary, but regardless, you should expect the unexpected. Understood. <clears throat> We're in. Let's move. Dun dun dun! Is this game for the PS2? No, Luffy. This game was released originally for the PlayStation 3. So it was first released on the PlayStation 3 and then later on the PS4. Yeah, PS Resident Evil 5 is not PS2. The only Resident Evil games that came out for PlayStation 2 was Code Veronica, Resident Evil 4, and some other Resident Evil games. But Resident Evil 5 did not come out in PlayStation 2. So when I first played this DLC, I was like, oh my god, another mansion? Resident Evil sure does love to put you back in the mansions. I'm like, oh my god, another Spencer mansion or Alexia Ashford mansion? It's, it's just all but mansions. All right, come along, Chris. It's locked from the inside, Chris. But there's blood on the floor. Why is there blood? There's blood. Look, this blood's fresh. Hmm. Hmm. We should go check upstairs, Chris. <gasps> Where the hell was he hanging? found some men down. Judging by their wounds, it looks like they were physically assaulted. I figure they're probably Spencer's security. The Lord only knows what killed them. Roger that. We knew this mission wouldn't be a cakewalk. Use extreme caution. I remember when I first played this part. Th this part did freak me out. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, yeah. It's just called Resident Evil 5. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so let's let's investigate Chris. But I thought this DLC regardless it was still fun to play. There was one part that terrified me that I was like, oh my god. Oh! We need something. We go upstairs, right? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, and there's there's Oswald E. Spencer, one of the founders of Umbrella. The two others were Alexander Ashford, and the other one was Doctor Marcus. Marcus something. I forgot his last name. James Marcus. The name was James Marcus. Chris, look at this. Oh my god. Who could have done this? Someone must have busted the lock. We have to find another route. Hiya! All right, so did we go through the door? Huh, kind of gives me like Resident Evil Revelations. The way you walk into the door. Man, this guy loves himself, doesn't he? Oh! 
Really? I can't hit that? There you go. I was like, come on now. Come on now. It looks like pages from a diary. Some entries are missing. May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security. Wait, from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. That scumbag. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of the new creature. It looks like a skin gorilla to me. Scott said there had been an accident in the basement lab. <gasps> I just saw something like this would happen. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep. Not even on holidays. May 12th, 1998. 1998? 1998. Can I go back? Previous? May 10th, 1998. That's when this whole thing began. 1988, 1988 is when the whole thing began, guys, with the virus spreading in the Raccoon City forest, in the mansion, and then when it got to Raccoon City. I've been wearing this damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. May 16th, 1998. A rumor is going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy. And I'm sweating all the all the time now. I scratch the wait. I scratch the swelling on my arm, and a piece of, of rotten flesh just dropped off. Ew! What the hell's happening to me? You're infected. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Oh my god! Is that a reference for the the diary from Resident Evil One? Itchy, itchy, tasty. Huh. Nice. Password. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Is this the HD PS4 that have three CDs and free plus month? Oh, uh, well, this game, it is the, the HD version. But uh, I don't think, no, it doesn't have three CDs. The one that I got, no, it just comes with one. But unless... You're talking about the one, the three disc. You're probably talking about the one that it comes with Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. You're probably talking about that, I think. Hold on one second. Gotta check something out. Hold on. Hold on a minute there. Alright. Well, nothing here, Chris. We gotta keep moving. Oh, guys, and I played this level, like, when was it? When did I play this with... Oh, look! I played this with Jadex. It was our first time playing this, and we did really good. It was fun, but... Unfortunately, when my external hard drive messed up so bad, it deleted everything. <gasps> Whee! So that gameplay with me and her playing this level... This DLC was deleted. Man, this is so like Resident Evil Zero. I mean, Resident Evil 1. So we've got mansions that come out like... The number of times that we get mansions that come out in Resident Evil is like from Resident Evil Zero. <gasps> Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil 1. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil Code Veronica. Resident Evil 0, 1, not 3, but Code Veronica. And then uh, Resident Evil 5. Uh, a little bit of... Oh, look! No, because Resident Evil 4 was like all in the castle. So I wouldn't count that. Yes. I guess I am getting older, Chris. Actually, let me go open the door for Chris so he can come in here and be with me. There you go, honey. Another 
of the diary. Patrick's memories won. For the for a time, it appeared as as if Master Spencer would recover his former health, but fate was not so kind. And now he continues. Wait, confines himself to this to his study for days on end. It has been ages since I have seen him take his his meals in the dining hall. I have wait devour to prepare meals to his liking and bring them every day to the study. Unfortunately, he lacks the strength to eat anything but soup and other liquids. I cannot recall a time in the history of this household when the situation was was as dire as now. In generations past, the Spencer estate was the nexus for only the most well-to-do European sociali wait, socialities. Now only a skeleton staff rem <laughs> remains to look after a man who keeps himself in vir wait. virtual seclusion at one of his many residences. <laughs> so then, that probably explains it, why there's so many Spencer mansions. My family has been in, in the Spencer household service since the time of his great-grandfather. This rapid state of decline would have been unimaginable even just one generation prior. I remember fondly of the days of my youth, but that it seems that like a lifetime ago. It was about 50 years ago, back when my father was the head butler of the household. At that time, I was learning his duties in preparation to succeed him. And here, I, uh, and there was always some chore or errand that would keep me running around the house. I remember how Lord Ashford, ooh, Lord Ashford, another aristocrat from uh, from a storied family, and one of the uh, Master Spencer's schoolmates, Doctor Marcus, found uh, would find refuge from the summer heat at this villa. My father and I would c accompany them and do our utmost to see that they wanted for nothing. Perhaps because I was the youngest person there, they would take the, the wait, to teasing me, though more often than not that they would treat me as if one of them, whatever the time. Lord Ashford gave me my first state of brandy, and it was the second floor in the dining hall behind the stone statue lining up in the room. I will never forget just sent to the if he opened the bottle but those cherished times memories now lord ashford dr marcus and and of course my father have already passed on only master spencer remains and his father lord ashford dr marcus and of course my father the only master spencer re, the only master only master spencer remains and i'm afraid his days may be few I saw on my PS4 Resident Evil Zero. Oh, that's another good one. Resident Evil Zero. If only they... I would like for them to... If they could... Well, I don't know. I mean, it's a good game too, but if they could like remaster it... Remake it, I'm sorry. And make it two players, that would be good. Because that game was like... It, it was like it was made for two players. But no, it's basically just you and your teammate and you had to work together, switch... Switch places from time to time. See how well you would do when you when you're both separated. It was a lot of strategy. I still like that. I know a lot of when I find out that a lot of people didn't like certain uh, these certain Resident Evil games. I'm like, what? I had a good time. I remember I had a good time with most <laughs> almost all the Resident Evil games. But anyways, I will mark the end of this illustration. Finally, service at this for now. And just away for the. End. There is a note stuck in a few pages. All right. Oh, a password. Another password. Nice. Oh, hello, Albert. Albert Wesker. Husker. <laughs> hello, Albert Husker. Thank you so much for the follow. Is there an Alex Husker? Oh, shit. Did you hear that? This is so Resident Evil 1. Guys, soon I will... I'll, if you like, I could play Resident Evil 1. Resident Evil 1. Resident Evil 1 is super good. 
But just remember how this place looks, because you're going to see, like, damn. That's what. That's one thing I liked about this DLC, was that this DLC reminded me so much of Resident Evil 1, and I think that was a nice touch. But they need to stop with the with the mansions. Like, they just need to stop. Oh! Because, like, yeah, after a while, it just gets, like, th that's enough. You would like to see me play Resident Evil Zero? Oh, that's a good one, too. Man, we should do a marathon, then. In celebration for Resident Evil 4 that's coming out, huh? Huh? Eh? Eh? Why not? I'm down for a marathon. Another diary. Patrick's man. I cannot stop thinking about the screams of those poor souls in prison in the basement. I administrated the virus to all of them as per Master Spencer's instructions one week ago. Whenever they have become, whatever they become now, they are no longer human. Uh-oh. Albert Husker. Well, hello there. Hope you're having a, a good day so far. Don't mind me. Just Albert. <laughs> Just kidding around. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much for the follow. And I also hope you're having a good day and you're doing well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll just, yeah, call, I'll call you Albert. Albert! But I should just be proud of the master's trust me with his important work. He usually has nothing but contempt or distress for those around him. Really? You will do... Uh, probably not. Probably not, Luffy. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. What did it say? However, I cannot help but feel to disconnect between how I think I should feel and my actual mental state. On the one hand, I am, I am filled with joy at the chance to assist the master in any way I can. On the other, I feel as if I'm losing a bit of my soul with each experiment of what, I'm trying to do a core crux or something, I assist with. The only way I can preserve my mental is by taking time off or by trying to di divorce myself from all emotion I have to question a master duty is honor mistake. a donation to the family I'm sorry guys I'm going to read it fast because I'm like I don't know how long these diaries are so just, if I find something important I'll say it out loud and there is no returning back on that it's time to check on the, the test subjects and report on the current directors and I will carry out my duties and will do it honorably Okay, so this guy, this butler, whatever, is just an assistant. I got that. I got that. Chris, look at this wall. This wall looks not not like the rest of it. <gasps> A piano. Chris, remember back in the days? Moonlight Sonata. Eh. I remember the last time I played this. Uh huh. Still play it. You mean right now? I don't know. It's been a while. Play it, Jill. For all time's sake, man. Play that, Jill sandwich. Yeah, they know what they were doing. Oh my god, Chris just ran in there like super fast. Alright, Luffy, you take care. Thank you for stopping by. Well, Chris, what you find in there? That's it? Okay. Well, Chris. Oh shit! <gasps> Hello? Oh my god, Chris! I'm not, no, no! I'm not gonna play the damn piano! Chris?
All right, guys. So, Chris. Oh, okay. I was like, where'd he go? When that happened, I don't waste your bullets, Chris. Oh shit. No, Chris. Come on, come on, you fool. Don't worry about that, son of a bitch. All right. So, anyways, when I first played this DLC and that part happened, I freaked out. I was like, what the hell is this thing? Because throughout the whole thing, you're like, Psh, everything seems calm so far. I think this DLC, I was like, I really hope this DLC is just not letting you go down like memory lane. I'm like, nothing is happening. And then when that happened, I was like, oh, well, that's something different. And I think that was a nice touch. Yeah, this DLC is just basically making you go down, go down memory lane, giving you like nostalgia, making you think like, oh, that was like in Resident Evil One with the dogs. Wait, the lock? It's child's play? Lock pick. Did y'all hear that? You haven't lost your touch. But good times, good times. Read document. Spencer's memories. <gasps> I, Oswald E. Spencer, founder of Umbrella, as well as its chief executive officer, hereby proclaim myself as a ruler of all mankind. Everyone shall uh, straight with themselves before me as they once did for the ancient false gods. Wait, for the ancient false gods? At least that's what, what my destiny should have been. But I did not become a god. I could not... S Sever my ties to my own weak humanity. Instead, my body is being destroyed by this damn disease. The disease of age. It has carved wrinkles into my face like a well... Withered... Can wait, canyon. And my arms are like the thin, withered branches of a dying tree. Age has even deprived me from its... Of the, with, of the use of my legs. The only chance I'll ever have of becoming a god and shaping humanity's, humanity's destiny is to stop this disease from continuing to ravage my body. I believe there is a saying about realizing the joys of life when, when one is at death's doorstep. Sayings like that are, the, are for the weak, who are going to die. They, att they attempt to mask their fears with... <laughs> Wait, pithy? Mortals can't comprehend what life means for those who, who... Wait, what? For those who death is not a concern. The arrogant are found of making gener generalizations to include those who would not be party. Would not be party of their... Uh-huh. Do that just fit to the time. It will represent themselves to protect being well within mankind. It will give them uh, when their lies. All that remains is to find the key to eternal life. Uh oh, eternal life, guys. The virus manufactured by Umbrella is the key. Ah, it suppresses the more shortening with ne negates the function that limits cell division. Somewhere in that process is the key to immortality if the process could be perfected that key would be mine i have t i have the means available to me i can realize my ambitions thanks to alex <gasps> alex guys Ugh. so this is what i'm talking about remember when we were playing resident evil revelations 2 and i told you guys when you first heard about alex is when you play one of the dlcs in resident evil 5 and there are documents that talk about Alex. And that's when you find out that Alex is one of the Wesker children. And it, that Alex is also one of the survivors of the, of the Wesker children. So it's like, uh-oh. So it's not only Albert Wesker. Now we have Alex Wesker somewhere out there also doing the work for um, Spencer. All right, anyways. I lost much uh, in human capital following Umbrella's bankruptcy. But I still have Alex the best and brightest of them all. 
and the last of my children. I have faith that if anyone can find a cure for the, <gasps> the time that keeps me from assuming my role as the head of mankind, it is Alex. Alex will find the way. Alex will find the way. Alex finds a way. I'm like, Alex? Who the hell is Alex? I have done everything Alex has asked to be. Alex generally fair surpasses those of, an, of normal people. We wait for the appropriate time to gather the necessary materials, and Alex continues to keep the operation running smoothly. Most... Oh! Did you guys hear that? Foot the footsteps outside? Uh-oh. Mr. X is waiting for us. Yeah, right. Most children are held back by the limits of their own intelligence, but not not so with Alex. I have never witnessed anyone so adept at absorbing the talents of others simply by observing them. I could not be more pleased. Alex displays superior qualities to everyone else. I provided everything Alex wait, I provided everything Alex and the other researchers would need to conduct their research. Unlimited funding, top of the top of the line equipment, research materials, and, and an endless supply of test subjects. The only thing wanting is time. They will conduct their research on an island, wait, an isolated island in the South Seas. That is, that is home to an abandoned military station from a nearby country. Alex has already gone there with a. I'm glad he didn't mention it because otherwise, I imagine it's some. If police officers are already or anybody were to come and investigate this place, they would immediately know where she's at, where she's located. Alex has already gone there with a group of researchers, assistants, research materials, and hundreds of test subjects. I waited in the earliest for good tidings of their research. Instead, I received only a phone call a month later asking me to send more test subjects. Is that when she started going kind of cuckoo with her experiments? How was it possible that they had gone through hundreds of test subjects in only a month? As my frustration rose, Alex attempted to reassure me. You'll be pleased to hear that all experiments are running smoothly. And I, and so I continued to wait. Oh, Alex, you lie. I have waited and waited and still no word from that, <laughs> from the island. It's been a year since they left. And I spent thousands upon thousands of test subjects for their research. As soon as Alex makes an improvement of the virus, the team administers, <laughs> administers it to another batch of test subjects. Unfortunately, they do not have the time to study the virus before testing it. If it looks visible, they proceed forward to see how the test subjects react to it. <gasps> hey, thank you so much for the follow, TBK Jordan. Good to have you with us. How are you doing today? Uh, if it looks visible, they proceed forward to see how the test subjects react to it. All of this is, the, is to be expected, I suppose. It's not Alex's fault. I have been impatient, true, but the situation is dire. Age has not only worn down this worthless shell, but it has also attacked my eternal organs and rendered many of my vitality uh, uh, virtually useless. What little functionality I can eke out from them is only thanks to the <gasps> machines attached to my body. Time is merciless. Is a merciless enemy. I'm counting on you, Alex. Only you can give me the key to eternal life. Hmm? What? I'm sorry, what? Finally, a report of success. The experiment was a success. <gasps> the news alone has sent a new surge of energy coursing through my veins. Have you renovated? Last night's dinner even tasted sweeter, the wine more excellent. My butler, Patrick, is truly... <gasps> hey, isn't his butler, Patrick, like his lover? I Didn't I read that somewhere? Like, it's his lover? That we find out that, oh, Mr. Spencer. <laughs> Yeah, I see you're, you know, been in the closet for a while. Unfortunately, that joy was short-lived. Alex has disappeared. I would be less concerned if that were the only regrettable report from the island. The other researchers are also nowhere to be found. 
neither are the thousands of test subjects. And the most importantly, all the research materials, including the final virus that was to make me a god, cannot be located. I have been betrayed. I have allowed myself to be betrayed again. Well, it serves him right, because for those of you who don't know, Oswald E. Spencer, he also betrayed a lot of people, especially his two friends that helped him found the, the you know the the original founders of umbrella he betrayed dr marcus because of his success with the t virus so he had him killed and then there was ashford oh no actually no well i don't know i forgot no i'm pretty sure there was also like some rivalry happening between spencer and alexander ashford if i'm not mistaken i think so i think i think i think but he was being a backstabber. He, he Every time there was a, a success from somewhere, he wanted that success all to himself. Especially from William Birkin. When he hired William Birkin to not only kill Dr. Marcus and to continue, continue with his research, uh, when William Birkin succeeded on making a better virus, which was the G virus, well, of course, Spencer wanted it. And he sent his SWAT team to go kill William Birkin. And then that would, that's what caused an outbreak in Raccoon City. It's been a mess. It's been a, a big mess thanks to this uh, Oswald E. Spencer. I should have learned from my mistake with Albert. Now my life stands on the edge of a knife. The only person I could trust is my loyal butler, <laughs> Patrick. He is my last hope of locating the virus that will cure me from this Richard. But this time, wait, but time is on, wait, but is time on, on my side? Not really. That is the question that is my mind. No, t time is never on your side. Well, sometimes. And only the god I am to become can answer that question. All right, let's check to see if RDH Davis is streaming. Where am I going to find three passwords? <gasps> I need another password? Damn. Uh oh. <gasps> Look. You know what, Chris? I'm sorry. I need to give you some stuff. Actually, Chris, can you? Oh, I can't move yours. Oh my God! No, 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 no. Uh, there we go. And then I'm gonna put you up here. Uh, there you there. Chris, I'm going to give this to you because you Thanks. need it. You're welcome, buddy. Um, I have a shotgun. I don't think I could switch places with Chris, right? No, this ain't. This isn't Resident Evil Zero. No, I can't. There we go. <gasps> Give me that shit. It's a good gun. Wait, heat, heat sensitive paper. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, are these things gonna come out again? So luckily, that big monster we encountered, he is still over there. But I don't know if another one's gonna come out. So this is a heat sensitive paper. We're going to go take it to the to the fireplace. What the hell? Are they playing a the piano? The bloody monster's playing a piano. He didn't like my music. That's why he came and attacked us. Look what I found, Chris. The passcode. I think that should be it. Come on. I guess he didn't like my moon Moonlight Sonata.
Can I kill that? Don't bother. Don't bother. Is that it? Yep, we found everything. We found all the passcodes. Okay, Patrick's memories. Oh my god. I have been in the Master Spencer's employee with the Master of the Build my whole adult life. As of late, however, I found the actions to be, for example, he has taken every possible precaution to conceal his whereabouts from the outside world. Oh, that's true, because he does make an appearance in part. The was it Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, but we don't see his face. Asking to certain man. Wait, wait. Then one day he asked me to find a certain man and make him aware of the master's whereabouts. I do not know why he would go to such lengths to contact this man, but perhaps he wanted to see if someone could find him. The man in question is one Mr. Albert Wesker, a name I have not heard in quite a long time. I only met him once, and that was over 10 years ago. I am ashamed to admit it, but that I cannot recall his face because as head butler, it is my job to remember people. The reason I believe, the reason I believe is because of his eyes, those cold, unfeeling eyes that completely overshadowed his other features. At any rate, I have endeavored to get the information into Wesker's hands without letting, letting on that it was Master Spencer's desire that he have that information. I know of a certain, wait, I know of a certain unscrupulous uh, individual who could put the information on the streets for the right price. He is the kind of, he is the kind that does not care who he talks to. Individual, of a female spy. Wait, 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 what? What? He is the kind that does not care who he talks to. What made the individual I found of such importance is that he is in the employee of a female spy who has regular dealings with Wesker. Ada Wong, a female spy. I paid this man. I forgot if his name was Roberto or Ricardo more than he, de than he deserved and he gave him the bare minimum of information necessary to fulfill Master Spencer's wishes. I dreadfully carried out uh, just directions to the letter. The master let me go, then I don't answer the question the only time I questioned him, but he responded with only silence. I do not know what to do now. I am filled with a sense of loss. Everything I have ever known is gone. I dedicated my entire life to serving the Spencer household, and now that book has been forcibly closed for no apparent reason. The only ones who remain will be those untrustworthy security guards <laughs> and people in prison below the, the premise. I truly doubt that the guard's ability to attend to all the Master Spencer's needs. Could it be that the plans he... Uh, wait, he plans on dying? No, he is not that type of man. He would not want to leave all his affairs in such an unfinished state. Master Spencer must must have some grand... Just that work of beyond my ability to comprehend. At any rate, I can only obey his wishes and take my leave. I will be loyal until the end, even if it breaks my heart to do so. There's another file here. It looks like a list of test subjects. Test subjects. Hans, Felicia, Marco, Jonah, Irma, Keen, Laura, William, Hero, Derek, Miles, Alex, and Albert. And there you have it. The number of candidates have been limited to 13 individuals listed above. So those are the list of the Wesker children. And only Alex and Albert were the only sole survivors. <gasps> Chris! No, Chris! Nice AIs. 
I'm coming, Chris. Gotta go! Chris, we have to go. Come on. Come on. Roger. Why the hell would he put this in here? Shit. Does that thing go through the door? I don't think so. We gotta run. Oh shit! Come on! Come on! Alright. Now that we got the handle, we can put it down here. There you go. I command you to do it, Chris. You got the muscles. Read it faster. <laughs> Imagine. We hear the sound of Lisa Trevor down here. <gasps> Imagine if Lisa Trevor was still alive. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit! Hold on. I'm coming, Chris. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to. Come in, 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 come in. See, Chris, this is how I want you to do it. You took your sweet time, man. I don't think there's no going back now. But it will all be worth it. Looks like we're going to the basement, y'all. Remember how they talked about those prisoners in the basement? Well, here it is. What is that smell? I don't know. But I hope we don't run into whatever's making it. And when have we ever been that lucky? Heh <laughs> heh. Poor people. All because this man just wanted to find the, the answer to immortality. <gasps> it it kind of makes sense because in Resident Evil Village, he met that woman. Moron? I'm sorry, the reason why I said moron is because, well, damn it, Spencer, your answer was right there. You know what? Now that I think about it, he should have spoken to. Oh, what's her name? Lady Dimitrescu. I mean, look at her. She lived a long, 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 like, she, she, she stayed like that for years. But what was his reason that he's like, no, I'm going to go do Umbrella. I'm going to figure out my own way. Well, dumbass, you could have done it a long time ago. I couldn't even begin to guess how long he's been dead. But apparently, I remember in Resident Evil Village, there was a document that talks about how Oswald E. Spencer, he knew that woman. What's her name? Mother Miranda. But that's it. That was like the only little connection that we get. Hello? You okay in there? Chris, I think just g g give him like a, give him gum or something. the hell now this part freaks me out Chris is like ready to shoot it all right so when I first played this DLC like I was busy looking around and then when that sound happened I freaked out and when I tried to look that way I thought I saw 
two creepy, like, skinny corpses carrying a dead body while they were running. And I thought, oh god, we're gonna be dealing with, like, zombies down here. I wonder how many innocent people lost their lives in these horrible experiments. But no, it's just more of those things. No, go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You were going to open it. Go ahead. What the fuck? Okay, now that sound is creepy. Oh! Chris, stay with me, Chris. Chris, well, how the hell did you get over there? But if we're going to do a marathon, guys, before Resident Evil 4 comes out, the remake, we would have to play the Dark Side Chronicles. We have to play the other ones. Nah, we don't have to. I guess we could just play the main ones. Like one, like zero. Oh! Get out this, of my way. this son of a bitch. Chris, move, 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 move. Anyways, we could just play like zero, one, two, three. Oh my God, Chris. Okay, come on! Chris, you didn't punch it, you fool! Oh my god. Forget this, forget this. I don't think we should waste our weapons. I forgot, we're playing hard mode. What?! Why the music? Oh, what the bloody hell! Get off me! Oh my god, please don't. Oh, you son of a bitch! Stop moving me around! Oh god. I think we should go this way, Chris. What the hell? <gasps> Mother freak! <gasps> Mother freak! Oh god! We're in trouble! We're in trouble! <laughs> We're in trouble, Chris! Oh my god. Chris! Left me a Chris. Oh my god, we are in deep shit. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Chris, are you okay? I'm sorry! <laughs> Oh my god, no. 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 Come on! <laughs> Please tell me they don't follow you. Oh, we are in... Oh my god, no freaking way. No freaking way. I am dead. I am so dead. Run, Chris! <gasps> Chris! Okay. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh no, that's two of them. I thought there were like three of them. Chris? 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 Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Well, I tried. <laughs> that was interesting. I didn't think they were all going to come down here, but I guess, yep, they follow you. How many were there? I think there was like three of them. Oh, well, I'm going to say this episode here um, and we'll continue. What time is it? Damn, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah, I'm going to say this episode here for my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you watching me live on my Twitch, stay tuned because I don't know. I think I'll do one more. I'll do a little bit more. And for those of you who will be watching this live on my t uh, YouTube channel, thank you so... Wait, live. Sometime in the future on my YouTube channel, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys... Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget, if you're interested in checking out my Twitch channel, the link will be in the description below this video. Just click on the link and it'll bring you straight here. Y'all have a good day or a good night. Laters! <laughs> Poor Chris. The music was intense.